Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Half Gazette, here with the next video, and this one is dealing all with Town Hall 9, which is, um, they've kind of had a bit of a resurgence. I don't want to say this too early. This is the first war, really, since the update we've seen, but um, three times in the Town Hall 9 attacks. The war's not over, but the Town Hall 9s are pretty much finished up, so I wanted to cover this as quickly as possible, uh, try to be the first channel to show you guys what's going on with Witches at Town Hall 9. This isn't an attack strategy, video because um, it's used in a variety of different attacks this one only has two witches some of the other ones we'll take a look at today have like four or six witches somewhere around there so it is varying in number and the other troops that go along with the witches also varies so it's not really an attack strategy as much as let's just look at some witch attacks try to make sense of it um, see how they can be used stuff like that so we'll go through these attacks um, I have watched them before obviously but I, I'm still trying to make sense of them a little bit I haven't seen witches at Town Hall 9 uh, be used in so long and this is you know beyond novelty I mean people did use them every once in a while but really they weren't a serious attack strategy or anything that was you know a go-to but you know because they have that HP and damage buff, I think they're going to become a little more viable at Town Hall 9. And I'll talk about a few of the ways that they now um, are more reliable because they have more hit points and stuff like that. So anyway, this first attack by Double Ot Buck um, comes in with a Queen Walk here. Has to use the ability to take out the defensive Queen. Gets a few defenses as well. I like those balloons because the Queen would have to turn the corner to reach that Archer Tower, which might uh, bring her the wrong way. Um, so we got that taken care of. Also means there's nothing targeting the queen besides the CC troops, so he didn't need to use that rage. That was pretty much a wasted rage, to be honest. Um, but he still gets the job done despite kind of a wasted spell there. Um, when there's when there's only the CC troops and nothing else, unless there's like a bunch of Valks and the baby dragon, um, you should be okay. If there's archers and the baby dragon like there were there, you typically don't need that rage. Um, in most circumstances, especially with the level 30 queen. So comes down south here with the golems, gets those guys out in front, a few wizards to create the funnel. Here come the, just the two witches because you can get pretty good value for them. Um, you want to drop these guys earlier rather than later, the witches that is, because that way they spawn the skeletons and um, they don't spawn them all at once. It's kind of a, they spawn like four or six at a time, then they do that an, a few times to get to the maximum level of spawn skeletons. So you want to drop them relatively early. I'm um, soon as that funnel has been created and just like the bowlers they have pretty much the same uh, AI you have to follow them pretty much the same way you can see the giant bomb doesn't even take out a full witch uh, she actually goes down to the Tesla farm that one witch on the southern side but um, the giant bomb didn't take her out which is huge uh, that that makes a big difference and I never thought witches would be stronger than giant bombs but now they are um, they're up there a little below the HP of a hog, around the HP of a bowler, I would say. I forget the exact numbers, um, but you guys can look it up really easily on Class of Clans wiki or whatever. The king took out that entire Tesla farm, which was great value from him, uh, with a few hogs to kind of come in for these last defenses, but crush this base. Um, the healers also get on the witches occasionally, which is another bonus. The witches are very good complements to the bowlers as well. We saw that at Town Hall 11, that concept with the uh, that the strategies for the dip attacks, the Weibo. Um, they worked well together because the skeletons get out and tank, the bowlers can sit back and do some damage uh, behind walls and stuff. It's just a good combination of troops. So let's move on to the next attack here. Uh, looks like we still got some stuff going on that's probably a dip attack. Actually, that's the legitimate because they only have two Town Hall 11s, yeah. Um, this war is still going on. I'll try to cover it more for you guys. Maybe even catch the end live. Um, that's hard to do, but I'll, I'll see if I can get it done. Um, this next attack, also featuring a P.E.K.K.A., so something cool there. Uh, kind of a weird base too, but it, it works out well because the base is set up for you just to kind of come straight through like a wave. And I've said this before at Town Hall 9, that's so powerful. When there's nothing flanking your troops, when you're coming at a base straight through it, um, it can be very effective. That one Tesla does kind of sidetrack the golem a little bit. Actually, the, both the Teslas. So his golems are going to go off to the side. I'm not sure if they even come back in the base. Uh, but the witches are going to make their way in. And he doesn't even need a golem to tank because the skeletons, there's so many of them with like those six witches or whatever. They can come through very quickly. Still has that P.E.K.K.A. not deployed, um, which is interesting. Right here, the Lava Hound does pop 
and the lava pups actually can almost help the witches. They don't do enough damage to kill the witches, but they stop them. They delay the witches, but not the skeletons. So the skeletons get out in front, whereas the witches kind of hang back. It didn't happen as much on this attack, but in general, when there's a lava hound in the CC, um, that can sometimes be a good thing for witches. It'll delay the witches as they attack the lava hound and later the pups, while the skeletons go out in front, and uh, that way you get the free skeletons doing damage, um, but they keep spawning from the witches. You're not losing anything. Uh, by having your skeletons die as long as the witches are still up that's what's important has the heal spell which can be a nice compliment it's kind of hard to heal witches um they're a healable troop in a sense but the problem is uh they they kind of spread out oftentimes there's a big group up top they're hard to keep in one place for a heal spell so when done correctly it works out but um it's difficult to do. You can see his troops kind of went off in a weird uh, fashion here. He got the important stuff in the middle of the base taken out. There's no expos or anything like that still left up. Because of that, um, this base is pretty much done for. You can see the witches are a very powerful troop. They're not like um, uh, hogs or balloons. Something that has to be done with very a lot of precision and that's not necessarily a huge powerful troop. They are kind of an overpowering troop like Valks or Pekkas. Um, there's a little bit of leeway in your deployment because they are powerful you have a little bit of room for error which is nice at town hall nine um if your deployment goes a little bit south if, th if things walk around the base you still have that shot at a three star which you don't have in air attacks um for the most part but they do work very well air attacks that's just one of the downsides of them is if one thing goes wrong it can cost you the attack whereas you have a little more leeway with witches in these kind of very powerful attack strategies. This last one, using a few baby dragons. So another way to use these witches, this is a lower level base. It has um, kind of maxed out heroes for the most part, but the, uh, the defenses are very low level. So that makes it a little bit easier, obviously. Uh, still a nice attack, though. Comes in with a few baby dragons just for the initial funnel. Uh, the golem's going down. I think they'll walk up to that mortar right there, yeah. One goes up to the mortar, one goes inside the base. Three baby dragons in the CC, which is interesting. Uh, we don't see that that often, but okay. I think the the wizards uh, take them out for the most part. The poison also helps out there too. Uh, the baby dragons can be a threat to your witches for sure, so you want to make sure there's stuff out in front tanking, and you get those taken care of as soon as possible, because uh, they are a big threat, along with Valks or any other kind of splash damage. A uh, fast-moving troop like that. So the witches make their way into the base here. Uh, the funneling is good. There's really nowhere for them to go but to that next jump spell after they take out the uh, storage right there. The king and the queen making their way through. And really these attacks are kind of characterized by just a lot of chaos, just things going in every direction. Um, but as long as they're, for the most part, going in the right direction, in the right general direction, it usually tends to work out. Another heal spell for those bowlers. The heal spell is a good idea to bring because really the rages, they can be effective initially, but after a while, the rages aren't going to do much for your witches. Um, you have the jump spells, but beyond that, typically you have another spell space left over, and you want to use that heal wherever there's just exposed bowlers, exposed witches. Prevent them from going down because if you do heal them, it's very difficult to take them out under a heal because they have enough HP that it takes you know three or four shots from a point defense or a lot from a splash damage defense it's it's difficult to take them out when they're being constantly healed back up so the troops are all spread out as they tend to be but that's a good thing for witch attacks at the end of the attack because they spawn those skeletons they get up to the max number while they're not being targeted then those skeletons all break through a wall or something and like run out take on all those defenses and the witches move pretty slowly so they kind of hang back while the skeletons kind of you know how speedy they are run out and do all the tanking uh, take stuff out very nice kind of end game uh, attack strategy if you have enough witches left up at the end which he does so nice attack to Dennis I um, hope you guys like the video I'm trying to make sense of this as well so it wasn't the most like comprehensive you have deployed this here um, maybe we'll get a little more specific in the coming days to weeks as far as how to use this exactly with what troops um, what types of bases to look for that kind of stuff um, I'm also gonna be covering the other new troops like dragons well not new troops but the uh, buffed troops the change troops after the update like dragons balloons those kind of things talk about how they're doing post update so be sure to uh, stick around and be looking for that on the channel uh, that's going to do it though for this witch video for those of you town hall nines try it out maybe some friendly friendly challenges see how it works for you um because i think it can be you know pretty effective and it might become a big thing at town hall nine uh if it if it turns out to uh to be something to do, I guess. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye, Sectatron out.